Hey there, this is Alex. Um, as you know, I buy lots of locks off of eBay, often in lots. So you get a whole box of locks and you never, may never know what you're going to get exactly. Um, I got that recently and it happened to come with a couple of these um, new, apparently, combination padlocks. So probably new in 1986 or something. Um, it's the type of lock you'd put on your luggage or I wouldn't put it on my uh, toolbox, but or definitely not on a gun case. Um, but, you know, just a, as a seal or whatever. Um, apparently they patented it and you can change the combination yourself. Okay, so the way it works if you're just operating it as a user is you So, you know, we've all seen how to sort of bypass these locks. Um, I spent a little bit of time with it and couldn't quite get it, uh, which was a little embarrassing. I'm sure if I spent some more time, I would have gotten it, but I was impatient and I had two of them. So I decided to, um, to go um, a little medieval on it and, um, and take one apart. All right, so what we see here, um, there is a spring missing. There would be a little, um, uh, a little sort of angle spring that would bias the, the uh, shackle outward. Um, that went flying across the room and I haven't managed to find it, so we'll ignore that for now. There are these little, um, these little coil springs that sit down on these pins and spring bias um, this little C-shaped thing um, towards the bottom in this case. Okay, so as with many of these things, the way it works, put the, put the shackle back in, is that you go in and you dial your combination in to whatever it is. I have no idea what it is on this lock at this point because I've been fiddling with it. It may not even be on whole numbers. Um, but you would get your combination dialed in that aligns all those little C's, in this case facing to the nine o'clock position. And when you push the bolt down, oops, when you push the bolt down, it's able to slide this, which would work much better if the whole thing were assembled. But it, this thing is able to slide to the right and the bolt can open and you can get into your luggage or whatever, okay? So here's a close-up of the actuator, the inner and outer wheels, and you can see the little C-shaped gate on the inner wheel and the little bumps on which the interface. In this photograph, I've inverted the inner wheel so you can see the back of it um, and the little tines that interact with the bumps on the outer wheel. Here you can see the whole assembly and I flipped one of the outer wheels over, you can see the little holes in it which interact with the little bumps around the pin, um, and that's what causes it to click as you rotate it. And just a quick shot of all the parts with a scale so you can see how big they are. And so the way when I changed the combination, I was holding the bolt back, which pins this wheel, the center wheel in place, and then it's able to stay in place while the outer wheel rotates and then you can set the new combination. Um, what I want to do is I want to find that gate. And the problem I was having is I was trying from the sides and a bunch of different places, and I hadn't really tried hard enough to come up at the, at the bolt. I didn't know exactly how this worked. I was figuring it uh, slid up, but, um, or did something else. Um, but what we're trying to do is basically get our shim in like this. Let's see if I can get it at this angle. I can't, so I have to turn it a little bit like this. And we're trying to get our shim in, and this would be held down by a spring. Um, and we're trying to get it wedged in kind of like that and feel that, that little C there. Okay. And just to give you a close-up of the probe, it's made from a piece of um, 5 thousandths sheet metal. Um, it's trimmed to the shape I like. Uh, with a little bit of light sanding to relieve the edges and make the tip a little bit thinner. And it turns out that if you, you know, the gate is aligned to the 6 o'clock position in this orientation, that it is two clicks, two numbers um, clockwise um, to, um, locate the, or to locate the gate appropriately for the, for the uh, actuator to be able to move. Okay? So I'll just give a quick demo of that on one of these wheels. So we set on one of the wheels on this lock. So we set this to 701, okay? So I'm just gonna scramble um, the first wheel um, a little bit, okay? And now I'm gonna take my probe, I'm gonna stick it up 
in here and try to get up and around the um, to the to the so that I'm touching that top ring and I don't feel anything here. Okay, so I'm going to advance it one click and I'm still not quite feeling anything. I'm just going to keep spinning this around because it bends a little bit. Might have something over on the side there, I'm not sure yet. Um, come around, probe, probe, probe. I've got nothing. Probe, probe, probe. Nothing. Let's just make sure I'm able to get in there. It's good. Okay. Uh, now I'm feeling. I think. I think I'm feeling the corner or something there. Not positive, but let's just uh, let's check that. Ah, now I'm definitely feeling something now, and I can feel. I was feeling it. Now I'm in quite a lot further, and you can see that it's not sliding back and forth now. So I, I can feel the gate there, so that's the equivalent of the little disc being there. So my shim is sliding down and hitting inside there. So now if I come one more to this direction, I can get into the gate, okay? Now I know that I've only fiddled with this wheel, right? But without even looking at it, I could note the number down, but without even looking at it, I know that if I move it two clicks to the left or clockwise, so number one, I have managed to break it. And I just demonstrated the other problem with this lock. So, <laughs> so um, I found the gate and I managed to change the combination simultaneously. So. <laughs> Um, what happened is that, and I was going to do these as two separate parts, but why not, um, and I'll do it again, is that when I got up in here at some point along the way, I separated the two discs, okay? I separated the inner and outer disc, and I was able to um, move the inner disc, or the outer disc rather, without um, advancing the center disc and hopefully I've managed to do it one more time um, actually I managed to do it five times okay now it does not depend on you being on the correct number so let me put it I'll put that to zero just to prove that I can do it from from an arbitrary location so I've got that wedged in there pretty good I'm gonna uh, advance this a couple of notches hopefully I'll get a couple movements out of it okay so now it's at 707 not opening 706 705 okay so I got what three positions out of it okay so we now know two things if we want to find the combination we can locate the gates with a feeler just like we would with many other types of locks but because this thing is made out of plastic and it has all these little springs and um, really really crap tolerances I mean if you come in here you can actually pry these wheels all sorts of around right there's tons of play in them um, because of that we can actually go in and scramble the combination and so thank God I'm still in frame good um, so we have two attacks on this lock we can decode it and open the lock or if we for whatever reason don't care about that but just want to you know, mess with a person or, you know, uh, play with our friends or whatever in a lock sport fashion, we can go in with our probe and modify the combination arbitrarily. We can just randomize it, randomly change all three discs, and then hopefully our, our friend uh, knows how to pick the thing or manipulate it open, um, or they're going to have to go through all 1,000 combinations to get their luggage open again. So there we have it, the combination padlock patented resettable, new, sometime in the 70s or something. This thing doesn't even have a UPC on it, so it's probably pretty old. Um, uh, decoded, manipulated open, and scrambled. Um, and uh, I thought that was pretty cool, uh, the scrambling part particularly. So. Um, obviously, you know, don't do this to someone else's lock without their permission. Um, 
so uh, and keep it and uh, as always keep it legal and have fun this is Alex thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, yeah have a good one cheers